When working in 3ds Max or 3ds Max Design on a specific production project, you may be working for a company that has a configuration control system already set up that allows them to track all the assets for the current production. These assets include 3D models, textures, material libraries, and any other element that would be used in the production of the animation. Other companies simply have predefined directory structures where these assets reside either on a local computer or on a network for collaborative environments and backup. The third situation is a situation that we're in right now. We have a project that we're working on. We want to maintain some form of directory structure so we know where our assets will be going. We're not just putting a file over here and a file over there and creating a big mess. 3ds Max and 3ds Max Design provide a convenient means for working in projects and keeping project directories organized. Before we move on, if you haven't done so and you are able to copy the understanding 3dproduction.zip file from the lesson DVD to a location on your hard drive, go ahead and do so now. Extract the zip file. It contains a project directory that we will use in order to maintain a consistent project data configuration. In order to set the project directory, click on the application button in the upper left corner. From the drop down menu, click the manage option. In the manage 3D assets window, click on the set projects folder option. In the Browse for Folder dialog box, navigate to where you unzipped the Understanding 3D Production zip file and click on the Understanding 3D Project directory. In my case, I copied it to the desktop and unzipped it on the desktop, so I'll go ahead and select it there. This now sets 3ds Max to use this directory as its default project directory. So when you go to load and save the scene files, it will look for the files within the project folder. The same thing goes for the other directories. Like the render output directory will be used as the default location for rendered files. Now that we've selected our directory that we will use as our new project folder, go ahead and click the OK button to close the dialog. 